Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm Delilah or hey the Delilah.10 on Instagram. Well, if you guys already know me and if you've seen me before, you could definitely uh, note a difference. I have just tried contact lenses for the very first time and um, I just received the delivery today and I just thought of trying it out. So, you know, um, I put them on and it was quite painful, guys. I tell you the experience. Oh, my God. <laughs> but uh, I really like them, actually. I had um, ordered actually a dark brown, but this is what I received. Uh, if you guys can see, um, kind of like greenish, but uh, I actually like them, you know, they look quite fierce. But um, I'm going to wear it very occasionally. It's not something that I'm going to uh, wear on a day to day basis. But uh, since I've already worn it, I said, let me, um, you know, shoot in it and uh, show you guys and let me know what you think about it. Uh, do comment down below if they really suit me or I should try some other color. Do let me know, guys. Well, uh, today I'm going to be baking again. So I'm baking a strawberry vanilla cake and strawberry because this is winter season and strawberries are available. So I have some fresh uh, strawberries here, sorry. And um, I also have something that's very easy. That is, I have thought of going with a cake mix this time and that one's from Betty Crocker so it is a French vanilla uh, cake mix and I prefer this cake mix over any other cake mix actually uh, this one's a pretty good one and I've tried it a couple of times before and it's really good actually so you guys can try it out it's available online on Amazon I'm definitely going to mention the link down in the description box for you guys to check it out so um, why wait let's just get started let's take a look at the ingredients that go along with the cake mix so here I have some milk, some vegetable oil and three eggs. And for the frosting, we have some whipping cream, some powdered sugar and some fresh strawberries. Now in a large bowl, I'm going to sift the uh, cake mix. Now sifting the cake mix before adding the wet ingredients is very important in order to get rid of all those lumps so that you get a nice smooth batter. Okay, now that we have sifted the cake mix, I'm going to keep this aside and in a separate bowl, I'm going to combine all the wet ingredients. So first in goes the three eggs, then I'm going to add the vegetable oil and then the milk. Now as per the instructions for the batter, it is suggested to use a uh, water. but I prefer using milk because it gives that cake a little bit of richness but if you do not have milk on you then you could always use water. Okay now that we have combined all the wet ingredients give that mixture a nice whisk so that all the ingredients are nicely incorporated before we add the wet ingredients to the dry cake mix. Next, I added the vanilla essence. Now, you could completely avoid this step since this cake mix already does have the vanilla essence in it. Now, very gradually, I'm going to combine the wet ingredients with the dry cake mix. 
Now adding the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients or the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients doesn't really matter but it is usually recommended to add the dry ingredients into the bowl of the wet ingredients to avoid the batter getting clumsy and messy. Make sure not to over whisk the batter because over whisking creates a dense and a weak cake. Unlike a light and a fluffy cake, an over whisked cake will be gummy, chewy and very unpleasant. Okay, next I divided the batter into two nicely greased pans. You could either use butter or spray some vegetable oil to grease the baking pans. You could use a weighing scale to divide the batter equally but since I do not have a weighing scale I'm going to go as per my guts and try and divide the batter into the two uh, pans equally. Okay, I have my oven preheated at 180 degrees for about 10 minutes now. I'm going to place the batter straight into the preheated oven and since I have two trays, I'm going to make use of a rack. This way I can get it baked simultaneously. Also, I switch the tray from the top rack to the bottom because the heat at the top is more and it cooks quicker. So in order to protect the cake from drying further and burning, I switch the trays. Now in order to check whether the cakes have been baked perfectly, you could insert a toothpick or a knife in the middle of the cake and if it comes out clean, then your cakes are perfectly cooked. So I have left my cakes for cooling down and in the meanwhile, I'm going to work on the frosting. Okay, so for the frosting, we have some whipping cream over here and some powdered sugar. And I'm going to whisk this at a high speed until soft peaks have been formed. Also, what I like to do to my frosting is add a few drops of vanilla essence and this way it kind of enhances that uh, whole vanilla flavor in the cake. Okay, so since this is a strawberry cake, I also added a few drops of the pink food coloring just to give that light baby pink color to the cake. Okay, so now that the frosting has been done and the cakes have been cooling for quite some time now, it's time to frost the cake. Okay, so now a very important tip is if you do not want your cake to turn dry and stay moist, it is always advisable that before you could put on your frosting to sprinkle some sugar syrup or brush your cake with some sugar syrup. Okay, so now that I have my frosting, I'm going to sprinkle these freshly cut strawberries and be generous guys. 
because you really want to taste strawberry for every bite that you take. Well, I agree that the cake is not perfectly smooth since I do not have the right baking tools. But I tried to do work with whatever I had and for the garnish, I made use of some fresh strawberries and some grapes and also a Hershey's chocolate syrup just to give that dripping effect. Well, I did try to get as creative as possible but uh, I really do not know. Do let me know how do you feel about the cake in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe and if you did, please do not forget to like, subscribe and click on the bell button to get notified for further videos. Until then, bye-bye, stay safe and take care. Keep baking guys.